there's not much that I get excited about. I'm not gonna lie, I'm an old dog when it comes to this stuff, <laughs> but that's a little hard for me to handle. So we were in the studio yesterday tracking I'll vocals. Tonight, in a total day. And Bruce Robb, my producer, the legendary Bruce Robb and the, uh, one of the founders and owners of Cherokee Studios uh, in Hollywood, California. He has Joe, our engineer, set up a microphone for us and I'm standing there and he goes, oh, I gotta adjust the height of the mic and he comes out. Bruce just, he has this, he has this way about him where very casually he'll just throw something like a giant boulder into a conversation. So he points to the microphone and he goes, Where's the band here? Yeah. I'm afraid to even have it straightened out. It has been this way forever. This is Sinatra and Bowie's and Rod Stewart's mic and many more. No, 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 no. When you say it's their mic, you mean like they actually sang out of that? Yeah. And many, many more. Okay. I can't even tell you how many. There's not much that I get excited about. I'm not gonna lie. I'm an old dog when it comes to this stuff. But that's a little hard for me to handle. There is something about putting down and memorializing your songs into the same microphone, letting it come through the same channels that Frank Sinatra and David Bowie sang into, and they sang their hearts out into it. And I just, just, it's a very, you realize the scope of who you are when something like that happens. And I was about that big. And what an amazing feeling it was to be that big, you guys. It was so crazy. That is awesome.